the Bergera B14 rifle and 22 long rifle out here in Riders Range. We're going to shoot it and we're going to talk about it. Stick around. <laughs> I want to welcome you to Riders Range. We're going to take a look at the Bergera B14 rifle in 22 long rifle. If you're familiar with the Remington 700 models, you're going to be familiar with this rifle because the action is effectively uh, equivalent to uh, Remington 700. The uh, the bolt, the bolt throw, the mechanism, and so forth is very much Remington 700 like. In fact, it's supposed to be a clone of the uh, 700. My good friend Brent Fisher loaned me this gun. He's loaned me a couple others before. And because Brent shoots with the 10% of the population left-handed, this is a left-handed rifle, uh, which will actually be great for my uh, granddaughter who's visiting this week. I'm going to let her uh, try it out because she's right-handed, but she's also left-eye dominant, so she has to shoot long guns left-handed. And this gun will be perfect for that. This does have the uh, Vortex Copperhead um, 4 to 12 by 44 scope on it and we aren't going to use the uh, the full 12 because we're only going to be shooting at uh, at 50 yards so um, we're going to try this out with uh, a couple of different types of ammo and we're going to see how it works stay with us we're going to talk more about the gun and we're going to just uh, put five shots out of the uh, Bergera magazine from this B14 these are uh, Aguila Super Extra 40 grain 22s we're just going to put five shots at the top target um, at 50 yards and just see how well this gun shoots. All right, left-handed gun, but I'm going to shoot it right-handed. All right, top target. And we'll see what I can do with it, if I can do justice to this gun. Close, let's see where the next one goes. Felt like I pulled it. <clears throat> I felt like that was off too. I can't complain too much. I felt like that was low right. Uh, just the opposite. All right, I can't complain about how this gun shoots so far. Uh, we just uh, use the standard Bergera magazine. This is a 10 round magazine that's the same size as a Remington 700 mag. So again, this is basically a 700 that you can practice with for a whole lot less money. This gun uh, on the website weighs just over eight pounds. It does have a threaded barrel. Now this particular one is a steel barrel. The uh, one that's, uh, I think it's 8.2 pounds on the website has a carbon fiber barrel with a uh, button rifled steel liner. This one does not have that option. Um, beautiful, beautiful sub two pound trigger, but the gun itself weighs about 11 pounds with, uh, uh, as you see it right here. It's got adjustable uh, comb, adjustable spacers for the length of pull, does have uh, sling swivels, uh, very, very nice gun. We'll talk more about it in just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna put some more shots out of it. Uh, we're gonna put five rounds of just plain cheap federal target uh, and also then five rounds out of federal match. Now these are out of a Mac Brothers magazine. Interesting mag that you got 10 rounds this way and 10 rounds that way put, and it's an all metal mag, but this is also about a $95 mag that does not come with a gun. So we're gonna put some more rounds through it at 50 yards and we'll see how it shoots, stick around. All right, five rounds of federal uh, just plain says federal premium, but it's your plain gold medal target, not their match stuff. And we're going to go for the bottom target this time and see if I can try to do justice to this gun. Bottom target, 50 yards. I 
I won't complain about it. Let's see if I can do four more like it. Oh, I felt like I pulled that one. All right, I'm not going to complain about how this groups at all out of that cheap stuff. We'll try five rounds of gold medal uh, ultra match and see how that works. Again, we'll put them in the bottom target, see if they go in the same place. All right, stay to the bottom target, Federal Gold Medal Ultra Match. Yeah, that was my fault, double fed that one. Not the gun's fault. Felt like I pulled that high right. Felt like that one went to the right. Yeah, not going to the right because of the gun, it's going to the right because of me. All right, I guess they didn't go to the right. All right, no complaints at all. Bergera B14, 22 long rifle, 50 yards. This is uh, probably a 100 yard gun. It looks like every one of them, from what I can see in the scope, is uh, within an inch there at 50 yards, and I'm not a rifle guy. This gun does shoot nice. That sub two pound trigger is great. This uh, Mac Brothers magazine is really interesting. Certainly the, uh, uh, certainly the Vortex Copperhead scope, I've only got a set on six power, which is more than enough here at 50 yards. Working very, very nice out here. I like the gun. If you like the video, we certainly appreciate a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it if you subscribe, share, um, everything you can to help us uh, continue to grow. We really appreciate that. Comments are appreciated on this video down below. Comments on anything else at all, send them to info at ridersrange.com, and we'll do our best to get back with you. So the Bergera B14 Remington 700 like 22 caliber rifle. They make this in a whole bunch of different calibers. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, um, about a $1,300 gun, and uh, it shoots like twice that. So yeah, I like the gun, and uh, thanks for stopping by Riders Range and sharing this great experience with us.